Hi Tech Enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where today we're diving into the ultimate guide for simplifying your outdoor IP camera installation for warehouse perimeter security. Now if you're looking to beef up security around your warehouse borders, you're in the right place. And also, we're giving away a free custom tag design plan for your security system. That's right, a tailor-made design absolutely free. And this plan will be crafted by our team of tag experts, tailored specifically to meet the needs of your environment, ensuring you get the most effective and efficient surveillance setup possible. So now, let's get started. Now, first off, why the emphasize on installing multiple security cameras for perimeter surveillance? Well, that's simple. The more cameras, the fewer blind spots. And these cameras work together to provide a seamless overview of your warehouse surrounding, allowing for continuous monitoring and better intrusion detection. Now, the big question, what type of camera should you choose? Now, for outdoor use, particularly for the rugged environment of a warehouse perimeter, the most popular choices are PoE PDZ camera and bullet cameras. So let's break down what makes these cameras the go-to options. So let's start with the PDZ cameras. Now PDZ stands for pan, till, and zoom. And these cameras offer incredible flexibility. You can pan the camera across a wide areas, till it up, and down and also zoom in on specific point of interest all remotely and if there's an unexpected event or suspicious activity you can immediately move the camera to zoom in and capture detailed footage which is invaluable for effective security management and investigation and the pdz cameras also can cover a vast area that might otherwise require multiple fixed cameras. And this makes them ideal for large open spaces where you need to monitor different areas at different times without installing numerous cameras. And the bullet cameras, on the other hand, is known for its cylindrical shape that resembles a bullet, makes it ideal for directing at specific areas. And they're typically set to cover a fixed area, especially effective for monitoring specific points like entryways, exits, and restricted zone, where coverage needs are constant and focused. And furthermore, the design of the bullet cameras include weather-resistant casing, making them particularly suitable for outdoor use. So both our PDZ and bullet cameras are benefit immensely from power over Ethernet technology. This means they receive power and transmit data over a single Ethernet cable. There's no need for separate power adapters, simplifying the installation and reducing clutter. Next, let's talk about the installation. Now, positioning your cameras correctly is crucial. You can opt for wall mounting or pole mounting. Wall mounted cameras are typically affixed to the exterior wall of your warehouse. And this setup is especially advantageous for its stability and ease of installation. A wall mounted camera can cover up to 270 degrees when positioned correctly at the corner of your building. And this allows the camera to see almost everything from side to side, making it ideal for covering a large horizontal areas along the perimeter. And pole mounting involves attaching cameras to freestanding poles strategically placed around the perimeter. The distinct advantage here is the unobstructed 360 degree field of view. So this is particularly useful in open areas where you need visibility in all directions. And cameras can rotate fully, offering a complete all around view without any blind spot, providing comprehensive surveillance that ensures no corner is left unchecked. Traditionally, 
Setting up outdoor cameras involves running multiple Ethernet cables from your control room to each camera. This not only adds to the installation complexity, but also increases the risk of cable damage or tampering. So here enter our outdoor PoE pass-through switch. Now this switch is encased in an IP67 waterproof housing, and it is built to withstand harsh outdoor conditions. It simplifies your cabling needs by allowing multiple cameras to connect through a single switch that can be strategically placed outdoors. And the benefit? Fewer cables, simplified deployment, and enhanced reliability. Plus, the switch itself can be powered from a single source or it can transmit both power and data over extended distances without loss of quality. So now you're looking at our complete setup. We're going to connect three bullet cameras, PDZ camera, and a wireless SS point using our outdoor PoE pass-through switch. As you can see, all the cameras are installed in different directions, and it can cover a vast area using this pole mounting technique. So now let's do the connection from the beginning. Let's pretend this is our control room. We have the NVR and this high power PoE switch. Now this switch can provide IEEE A02.3 BT standard. So that's why it's able to provide power for our outdoor PoE pass-through switch. It is already connected to the NVR. Now I'm going to plug in this 100 meters Ethernet cable so it can provide both power and data for our outdoor PoE pass-through switch. Now this switch has eight ports. That means you can connect to multiple devices, but keep in mind here, only port number eight is the PoE input port. So I'm going to plug in the 100 meters ethernet cable to this port number eight. So after I plug in, all the indicated lights are on. We have five Ethernet cables representing five different devices. I'm going to twist the pole around. You can hear all the sound of the cameras moving and kicking. And the wireless access point is also receiving and the power and the data. There's no power adapter needed for all these devices. Only a single Ethernet cable from our high power PoE switch to the passive PoE switch. Now, all the video feeds are ready. I'm going to wave my hand to show you those are absolutely live video feed. And this PDZ camera here. So to pan, tilt, and zoom your PDZ camera, not only you can do it on the NVR with a mouse, you can also do it with a keyboard control. Now this is the PDZ camera. Let's enlarge it and try our control keyboard. You can move the joystick left, right, and also up and down. And when you want to zoom in, all you need to do is twist the joystick just like this. Now let's go over to, to our box here to zoom in on the tiny word on the box. Now, not only you can see the little word, you can also see the little tiniest number on the box. And when you want to zoom out, just twist it left. So by using this control keyboard, you're able to manage multiple cameras and also create the preset routine for your PDZ cameras. Now finally, let's touch on power management. To ensure your system runs smoothly without overloading, it is crucial to calculate the power consumption of your setup. Simply add up the power requirement of each device connected to the network. Make sure the total does not exceed the power budget of your PoE switch. And remember, an efficient setup 
isn't just about having the right equipment. It's about understanding how everything works together. And with these tips, now you're well on your way to creating a robust, streamlined surveillance system for your warehouse perimeter. So that's all for today's video on outdoor IP camera installation for warehouse security. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling. And also drop your questions or suggestions in the comment section below and stay tuned for more tech insights.